Question number 85, another question from thermodynamics and it says an ideal gas undergoes a quasi-static process and this is that particular process. Many times we also call this sort of process as polytropic process where molar heat capacity C remains constant. Now if that's a situation we got to calculate the value of N. It requires some information and a bit of calculation so it's not in an easy scale of question. C is R by gamma minus 1 plus R by 1 minus N. This comes out from a formula which can be derived but generally during the practice time you must have derived this equation the molar heat capacity of a polytropic process. Now here comes the question is C is R by gamma minus 1. The gamma can be written as Cp by Cv minus of 1 plus of R divided by 1 minus of N. That's the situation. Now here, this is the value of C and now from this particular thing, we can easily calculate the value of N. It's all simple that you have to keep this here and bring it here and from this, you calculate the value of N. You get the value of N to be C minus Cp upon C minus of Cv. So once you know this particular fact, although in order to get this fact, a nice amount of homework and a pre-calculation is required. So this particular question requires a thorough knowledge of thermodynamics. That was with question number 85. We'll move to question number 86 now. Question number 86, again from experimental physics, thereby indicating the importance of this particular topic. And this time, the measuring instrument is the micrometer screw gaze which has a pitch of 0.5 millimeter and circular scale total has 50 divisions. Now from this particular thing we can calculate the least count that would be pitch by circular and this is 0.01 millimeter would be the least count. Now it says when the two jaws are in contact that means before measurement when the jaws of the circular one and the main are in contact, ideally it should show zero reading. But this time it says 45th division coincides with the main. That means there is an error. And the zero of main is barely visible. That means already the zero has been crossed, barely visible it is said. So in that particular situation what happens is that there is a 5 division which has overrun while tying the linear scale. So it's something like this. This is the part, the linear scale and when we tie it, when these two jaws touch at that time, exactly 0, 0 should coincide. But this time what happened is that beyond 0, there is a 45th division which is coinciding with the main and 0 is not visible. So this is a clear case of negative error. So here we have the error is minus of 5 because the total is 58 division. So that comes out to be when it goes additionally. So in that situation it happens. You get that 45th division coincides with the mean. So minus 5 into least count and that is minus of 0 0.05 millimeter is the error. So, of course, if error is this much, the correction would be plus 0 0.05. Now, let's try to see the reading. When it comes for the reading, you could see here, it's something like this. 0 0.5 millimeter on the main scale, 0 0.5 and 25th division coincides. So, that will be 25 into least count, which is 0. 0, 01 and the correction should be plus 0 0.05. You add up all these things and eventually you get 0 0.80 millimeter as the exact reading. So that is even after taking the correction into regard. So this was question number 86. We'll proceed to the next which is question number 87. All right. Question number 87, another thought-provoking question. There are two rails, one is CD, other is AB and they are unsymmetrical. 
and there is a roller in the form of cone which can roll in this way. The roller is given a slight push so that it starts rolling parallel to CD that is for the initial instant and as it moves the roller will tend to. So whether the roller would turn right, straight, left, right and turn left. Now you require a bit of imagination during this thing see initially when it is rolling and you try to find out the direction of friction at AB the direction of the friction would be backward that you can do and if the direction of friction is backward see one component of the friction would be towards left so in that situation the roller would have a tendency to turn towards left so that finishes question number 87 although it seemed quite easy but it is a very thought provoking question and that has correct option as option number 4. Now we will go to question number 88.